WHDD presents Susan Says. Well, I'm in the second day of a wonderful ideas festival in Kent, the neighborhood of our station. This is the fourth year of a very successful enterprise started by two philanthropists, Ben and Donna Rosen. I asked him how they came up with it, and he said they had been involved in charity here and in New Orleans, and he wanted to do something more than just write a check. Well, they sure have. I love it. Over 300 people attend this very interesting, stimulating ideas festival. It's like Aspen, where I go every summer and have talked about. The proceeds with sponsorship all go to the community organizations here in your neighborhood, and it's supported by grateful citizens as well. I took the train from New York, a pleasant one hour, 45 minutes to Pauling, and I was met by my lovely bed and breakfast proprietor, Rosalind Weiner who runs the charming Pauling House. It's a and b and oh, I love it. I had my own little annex house. The place is filled with lovely period furniture. The charm and the grounds are lovely. She made it like home and the mattress to die for. I wish I could take it with me. It was like the princess and the pea. She even rescued me when my cab didn't come the first day. Her son drove me to Kent. Wow, that's service. So, the festival itself. It's held on this really neat campus, Kent School. Wow, what a campus. How lucky those kids are. In fact, many of the same speakers who have appeared in Aspen and the topics, the things that we are all interested in these days, politics, China, the Middle East, technology, and then small things like the big picture of life's meaning and the universe. Honestly, that's one of them. The speakers are some well-known, like Brett Stevens from the New York Times, Leslie Stahl interviewing Kissinger, Jay Johnson, former Homeland Security, Preet Bahara, former U.S. attorney for New York, famously fired by Trump, and some others I didn't know, but they're all stellar in their fields. I, of course, being the political junkie, went to most in that area, and boy, am I depressed. We're hearing facts, folks. The real news, not the fake, and it ain't good. The courts are being stacked. The new Supreme Court judge is no doubt going to be seated. Our rights as women will be in danger. Chipped away was the consensus, not totally overturned. Still scary. China is so far advanced in many fields in research and development and strategery, as they said. A long-term plan that will eat our lunch soon. Anyway, we can do one thing, and one thing only, vote. I missed a lecture on psychedelics that seemed fun. A guy who took some mushrooms and discovered a new way of looking at things, I believe it. But he also talked about the modern medical uses. I could use something after hearing about the lack of hope of our political system every day. Oh, Lord. A woman who had worked with deranged Donnie, as I call him, was here, and I tried to get some dish. But all she said was he cares only about himself. Well, duh. But she's still friends with him. Why? Why indeed? Goodbye to part one. Susan Silver was one of the original writers of such TV classics as The Mary Tyler Moore Show, Maud and Bob Newhart. She lectures and teaches sitcom writing and had a column on the New York Social Diary called The Search for Mr. Adequate. She hasn't found him yet. Appearing on TV and radio often, she expresses her views on life and opinions on everything.